She might die to this reflect. All right, we're not worried about <laughs> we're not worried about bridal anymore. <laughs> You're dead. What it do? What it do, guys? And I'll go. Hope you guys are enjoying this patch because there's so many units you could play with. Yesterday live stream, which you go check somewhere around here, we tried out the I would say the the, the non meta units or the non focused units because we don't have rail. And we tried some more. We tried says ML Furious, which some people say is a nerf. They don't get a common radius, but at the same time, I say the penetration he he can finally kill. I, I take <laughs> I take a unit that can actually kill a unit <laughs> than the combat readiness. Sure, you lose out on a you know sixty percent combat readiness if you hit four times, right? You know, fifteen percent and he pops off. But at the same time, he get he get actually kill <laughs> on top of that we got the you how with the reflect i think she's honestly going to be playable in my honest opinion J just my opinion i feel like she could be playable not right now because her setting and everything is uh and flan shooting through well if flan if you dual attack and she get a defense break i don't have any effect res but if you get a defense break and flan shoots into her and she has enough hp flan dies <laughs> funny enough flan dies if you survive the the dual attack, which I need a little bit more HP, like 30k and then some effect for us. But I don't see any defense with GB in this GBG that has a flan prep. So today we're gonna to be playing with two units. We're gonna be playing with Mort, because I'm pretty sure you guys already know what Mort does. If you can tell, I got some average, average gear. <laughs> and you guys like, why is no injury? And I say, why not? Only because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Cadence Farmer and we have the increased damage. I think it's increased damage. Why can't I click this? You can't click it on this. We got increased damage on this S3 just because. And I'm still rocking the Ancient Dragon Legacy because I have nobody else to give this to. So I might as well keep it on him since I don't want to just have an artifact. <laughs> That's plus 24 to get the game. Keep giving me it and just give it to him. You can, sure you can put it on a Lilius for which what's what I use a non-attack. And you get a crit damage, but I'm not a crit damage Lily. I'm a effect res Lilius, so. He get to keep it. And another looker that we're going to be looking at this GBG is going to be Twisted and Dolan k -Ron. He did get some changes. By some changes, he got a bigger increase in his S3. So this will kill primarily anybody that's below 1500, which is mainly, I want to say BBK and uh, Amik because they have immortality, but it does some damage. <laughs> On top of that, his S1... Barrier scales with his max HP, which is honestly good. And also, when he's at full rage, he get 100% combat readiness, which is honestly great. I've seen some Twitter Dokeron lapse if they go if some people are like fast enough, he just whoosh, and keep take and like keep turn cycling, so he can just rip the S3 off the bat if you have some damage reduction. But he can constantly keep cycling, you know, getting fighting spirit and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's actually pretty nice. He can now finally like do it if you have it maxed out, but nobody usually maxed this out. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a DVG and see what we can do with these two characters. All right, game number one. The first game is kind of, mm, <laughs> it just twists and don't care on with uh, Christy and also, I think we honestly don't need Christy. We could bring Yuha. We'll just do this just because I want this factor is to be over 200 and something because she has like, how much do you have? 250? Yeah, she has 255 effect res. So she, so she should be get, providing like around 125 to the K run, which will honestly be golden. And he also got Tai Wei, so he can't be stunned because of no effect res. And then bottom, we got Brigitte, Red, and Mort. Red is here because. They can't counterattack because Mortis here. <laughs> and that's why I just wanted to bring as much AoE as possible. And Brigitte is here just to push up Mort so we can actually have a chance to go at it. <laughs> this is lovely that they can't counterattack. Here's Ori's and Windrider. This is lovely that one, they can't counterattack, and two, I don't gotta worry about counterattack with Mortis on the team. Play a little S3, but unfortunately, Boop. And then we'll get a counterattack. This is lovely. I think I honestly auto this team probably. 
Poor Christy. I've made it this far. I won't. <laughs> That's all I can say to Christy. Poor Christy. She's gonna get bullied. <laughs> I don't think Christy got a chance to honestly shine in this in any of the meta. Like he used her for like you know here and there for certain comps for effectorous comps. I think even for effectorous comps, you don't really use her too much. Right? Because you just have above 200 effect res, and you have stuff like that. Do you crit my ice shield? <laughs> I'm not even going to question it. <laughs> Did you crit my effect res unit? <laughs> I mean, do you crit my, my ice unit? The good thing is that they're being fast, and Karen can just do this, and the barrier amount that he get is actually lovely. I, I didn't even. I should have just worked my S three. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> hmm. But here's the real thing: you want to see Elvis and whatnot go off, but they can't counterattack. I wouldn't pay attention to what artifact he has, but we're gonna S three, and we're gonna hopefully see counterattack. No counterattacks. Ow, it hurts. Please don't do that no more. Let's make this a good time. So I'm gonna push up more. Your today's client. And this blocks buff. Hmm, she dispels herself, right? I wanna put this on her because since Ilian have potentially cleanse herself over her S3, if she does, she'll get rid of block. So we're gonna give them the big stop and hopefully they don't Reduce, like, get out of fear instantly. I saw the Elvis proc, but they couldn't do nothing about it. Four ran, but unfortunately they can't. Elvis. Just lovely. No manners, no service. Ha. Miserable creature. Hmm. We still gotta kind of get rid of her. Dude, having a two, like, two turn fear is actually lovely. <laughs> having a two-turn fear is lovely. Well, I want to say if yeah, having a two-turn fear, technically a two-turn stun is lovely. They can't do much about that. Death has come for you. What a soul burn. I'll treat you nice. <laughs> How much HP do I have? <laughs> Don't forget the advice I give you. You're today's client. Ha. She has 2200. Assemble. We're gonna reduce some of this. Yeah, she has 22 max. May be worth 21. Oh, we was just off. That was my bad. <laughs> that was my bad. It was just a little bit off. The sweet miracles reduced it. Miserable. We need a soul burn bad. Death has come for you. Are my sweet baby and also, friends? if we happen to get a counterattack, we should be fine. But I don't think this will kill Mort. This will kill Mort. Shall we test fate? Okay, that will kill Mort. The unfortunate, fortunate. The unfortunate, fortunate. Mort's the strongest one in this patch, and he happened to lose versus the K-Ron that happened to win. Also, my team wasn't really optimized for Mort, but still. All right, game number two. Mort's already losing, but top team is doing some wonders. So, we got the BBK... Who are this, who are, I already know, I'm going to call her Pirate <laughs> Politis. I'm thinking of two different characters, and we got Bella. Now, the thing is, I forgot that Veronica also got a buff this patch. For you guys that don't know, they gave her 50% combat readiness when an enemy has immortality at the end of someone's turn. So it could be enemy turns or your ally's turn. When an enemy has immortality, she gains 50% combat readiness. That's, that's a lot of combat readiness. <laughs> She's at 240 speed. I didn't make her too, too fast because I didn't think I, for, I completely forgot about this. So, 
Since BBK is there, we just get half a combat radius. Even if we get pushed back, we should be faster than Bellin, right? 50% combat radius is, 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 a, is a hell of a lot. Especially if she's the fastest one in this game, right? And then the next will either be Bellin or Veronica. If we get pushed back, we still get 50%. Or we can make, make it sure that uh, she could go second. But we'll go with this. Every wrong says because if we happen to, to touch her and blow her up, that'd be lovely. We only have like, what's that, 120 effectiveness, right? Yeah, 123 effectiveness plus this piece of delivery because I don't know what artifact they give her. So 130. <laughs> we should be fine. And by the way, we got more Yuha and then we also got Flynn. <laughs> That's all I can really say. These main towers are kind of kind of frisky. I haven't seen a Hercetti. But yeah, look, she's right there. So even if she get pushed back, that's 50% because she has immortality. Prepare for battle, everyone. Which is honestly disgusting. So we gotta hope we don't miss or get resisted. Or and we also got a crit. No, this blade desires blood. <laughs> You can't say that was not a fortune that it resisted the bomb, <laughs> but we got the defense break. <laughs> if we got the bomb off, it would have been a different story because one, she would have been stunned. Two, says would have went because, well, I want to say he would have went, but Bellin would have did her S1. But says would have went and possibly killed and get her immortality. And since she has immortality, we get another 50% combat readiness. That was just pure unluck. That was just act, that was just unlucky. So anyway, we're gonna just punch her. Miserable creature. And we're gonna give him a big stump. We're gonna put a Miki into immortality phase. And this will probably kill, kill Flan because it's, it's pure damage if it's Obra's tooth. Well, not pure damage. We're gonna S1. We're gonna S3 for, for increased combat readiness, but eh. We gotta hope that Mort doesn't S1 and do stuff like that. I'm going to end you. Shoot her. <laughs> but double click, so this is gonna go on. I don't know who's gonna go on somebody random. I'm assuming your girl because she's Earth. They wanna do this. And since we hit with the S, no. Hmm. What causes us to trigger the, the S2? Oh, once every three turns. Did we already proc it? Yeah, we're gonna S3. No <laughs> I said, like, did we already proc it or did it not proc? And did we. I don't know. I think we had to get a defense break. Hmm. I'm still upset about the first game. You can't say that first game was not upsetting. Hey, we're just, we, even though we just met, which is true. It's kind of awkward between us. <laughs> After that game, you can't say that was so unfortunate. All right, game number three. We got Yuha Fairy Tail, so the redirect provoke into Yuha so she get hit. And two of these units doesn't really crit, which is Bridal and ML Play. And I say that because in order for Sacred Nixie's Grace to activate, they need to crit in order for this to activate. And it's a 30% reflect, which is only 30% of the damage that they dealt. And she reflects all of it. So here's the thing. We're gonna let her, Candy, die to reflect damage, if we're lucky. And then we're gonna hope that we can kill and kill her with S3. I think she's on, is she on injury? I don't know. She might be on counter, she is on counter. With Sarah Ren. Well, only 105 affected us. So I hope that. And then bottom, we're going again, even though we could have brought Mort. We're going again. We brought Zeal so he could go first to knock back her city or try to knock back. How much effect have you got? <laughs> only 107 affected us. Plus Bloody Rose. What's the worst that could happen? And then we also got 
your girl Veronica. Since it's not her steady turn, she gets screwed up because she has immortality. And then we have K Rod here. All right. <laughs> uh, this is about to go horrible or bad. Anyway, we're gonna get pushed back and whatnot. And who is gonna go into? I hope we go into Yuha for no reason besides if we go into Yuha. Nixie's Grace. This is the lowest. Uh, if you get crit before you drop that Nixie's Grace before you die, girl, that's my girl. <laughs> We're gonna drop this before she takes one out for herself. Knock him back. And we'll see if we can get a provoke. Did she take off my... That's why I need a fake Riz on her. I'm gonna put this on him. And hopefully Candy dies from just pure reflect. And hopefully the cards doesn't send it over. The wild cards. She might die to just reflect. All right, we're not worried about we're not worried about bridal anymore. <laughs> we're not gonna worry about bridal anymore, you silly goobers. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> we don't gotta worry about bridal resolve, you silly gooses. Yeah, she probably was at twenty. Oh, she had twenty-two. But since the redirect provoke is there, we're gonna keep that alright. We're gonna just keep provoking. And give it the wild cards. Okay, I might want to. I actually kind of want to spruce up my fairy tale to work with Yuha again. God, this. You can't say this balance patch was honestly terrible. Like, people complain about. Well, a lot of people would complain about a lot of different things, but this thing opened up a lot more variety. Like, 12 units to play with, and they're all, and are all decent in their own ways, right? And there's like a lot of different combos you can play with. <laughs> sure, Furious doesn't get his combo readiness, and sure, K Ron is K Ron. And sure, Mort is stumping on people, but Mort has a lot of options to deal with. I haven't seen Rail because I don't have Rail. BBK is still running wild, but there's a lot of options like Veronica. So we're gonna send her back. Actually, we didn't, we didn't need to really send her back because Ronald would have just lapped. Veronica would have took the turn. So we're gonna do this. So disappear. Please don't resist the bomb. You'd stay so we got proc our second immortality. What would have been great here? For my single, enduring Let's get her immortality elf. Dude, she just she just took a whole nother turn. By the way, <laughs> she just she just went from the top to the middle. She's gonna die here, but. But we kill BBK with this. Abyssal. No salvation for the unprepared. How many turns does she got till two more turns? It's gonna go into Zeo. And how much is this? We're only at forty percent. Math is hard. It won't kill. But this probably will. Keep this off of Zeo, so she's dual attacking the Zeo. Or hitting the Zeo. Oh my lordy. Hmm. 1800 HP, can we survive this? Well, let's rip it. Let's just rip it. It will take 30% reduced damage from this, which we probably could have saved. If we had it up, right? Oh, no late dream blade. Alright! Alright! That was... 
kind of nerve wracking. Like if we kept the S three, we take thirty re- from crit. Well, from crit, so it didn't really matter. It wasn't a, it was a guaranteed crit. But I forgot about Veronica. Furious is great. Yuha is great. We do one game RTA. They're probably more everywhere, but oh my god, this, this battle Spanish opened up so many possibilities. All right, RTA time. We got more says, and we got Veronica because they picked BBK. The I, mm, the only choice that we have here is that she will, if we aim with Silverblade, she will pop this. But since they have immortality, she will actually just zoom, by the way. I just noticed that. <laughs> so we left her B because she could be like at 290 speed or whatnot. But I just realized that she could just speed, but... Let's see. We have a 221 effectiveness girly. And she put in mortality. This is honestly great because this is no effect res. <laughs> Funny enough. Boop. Boop. This is honestly great. Boop, boop. And here's the thing. She should be low 30% HP when we drop this. Says is gonna do his S2. Or his S1. Sure is gonna push up what's her face, but I'm already prepared. Give up any hope of making it back alive. Give up any and since says took a turn and she has immortality, Veronica is gonna skip ahead again. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Bro, there's, there's so many units to play with. Sans can't particularly kill her, so. Unless we become colorblind magically. Oh, SS can't get one shot by her, so it's fine. But we gotta magically hit her with a bomb. Even if I lose this, that was actually great to see. We, do, we should put on a hit artifact since I don't have an artifact. Like, what's the artifact? Yeah, that hurt. So I'm gonna do this just to get an extra turn, even if we miss. Oh, not actually. I got a crit. Forgot about that part. Huh? Is it my turn? No, die hard. We should have waited one more turn. Prepare for battle, everyone. I'm with you. She don't. Oh, she has S three. We should have waited one more turn. That's my fault. We we lost as well because of my fault. We should have waited one more turn. But what's our effect? It's on. It's on Leo. We give it to her for an increased hit chance, so we have a better chance of hitting with through the evasion, like a 30% chance off. We gotta hope we don't get crit for these two turns. As a <laughs> All right, we got more t licks. Bella, and she's not on counter and stuff like that. Why don't we get rid of this because of the passive? We need Veronica's passive to go through. Even if we get silence, we could scoot up. I need to put, I need to switch a Seri artifact to this. And we should be a okie dokie. Oh, we should be extraordinary okie dokie. You dare defy me? Your emperor? Even if we push us back, we do have uh, immunity and barrier. Even if he pushes back, we can scoot up ahead. Which I find funny. Shall we test? <laughs> Which should I find funny? <laughs> okay. I'm not saying more. I'm not saying that Veronica is really good into BBK. I'm just saying Veronica is good at a BBK. Okay, that's a lot better. I I played this a lot better than the last time, but. <laughs> 
That was that was actually pretty good. That's a. I think people are. I think BBK is not safe versus Veronica. I think people gotta actually ban Veronica. And I overlooked this in the patch. You guys didn't tell me this a stream anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this GVG. I see you around. Go play some COD with the boys and chillax for this weekend and farm up for LRK. I'm trying to. I'm trying to farm up for LRK. He's gonna be on HP Revenge set. But I haven't seen many LRKs, but he looks good. Anyway, peace.